Okay, this is a one take review of a 2022-2100 RB. It retails for 41894 A dry weight of 5268 a GWVR of 7686 a hitch weight of 686 its height is 11 feet, 1 inch is 25 feet, and 11 inches total length, has a square footage of about 205. This is all the stuff that fits in here. This is one of the better benefits, is this storage area. This pops up, I'll show you with one arm. But the problem is, you only want to put stuff that you don't need to get to that often. Because it's covered up most of the time. But all this stuff here on the ground fits in there. It's tight but it fits. You have dual 20 pound LP tanks, an electric motor crank. This is a fiberglass front. I do like that feature. It's got a full length awning. I think it's around 18 feet or something. Blacked out windows. Just a regular six gallon hot water tank. Runs off electric or gas. Nice aluminum wheels. It does have a wider 30 inch door, which is a nice feature. We installed this tank holder on the back. It does have a window in the back and it is set up for a camera. It does have the PSX1 leveling shocks. They're not called shocks, levelers. But we'll step inside and close the door and let you see that. It's pretty well insulated. We've used it several times in 90 degree weather. Nothing cold yet. It does have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I think it's 14.5 actually. It's a 30,000 BTU furnace. A 44 gallon fresh water tank. A 30 gray and black. The awning, I believe, is 18 feet. Has a couch. A 12 volt refrigerator. This is a 30 amp unit. It's 10.7 cubic feet, I believe. That's what the brochure says. It's pretty big. We really like this refrigerator. It's an upgrade, I think, from previous models. I've been RVing for 25 years, I guess. It does have a king-size bed that slides from side to side. And you may think that's not a nice feature, but as you can see, we got it sliding all the way to the right, or you can go all the way to the left with it. Or you can just center it in the middle and make it a walk around does have storage up here it lights up
It does have these blackout shades, pretty typical. It's got room underneath there, a little shelf. USB ports, 12, uh, it's got regular 120 outlets underneath there. And then it has storage up underneath here, if you can see, it goes all the way through. It does have these stools, solid surface. Countertops, a lot of counter space. This is an upgraded television, it's an option. little cubby hole here it has a 120 plug and a USB ports this couch makes into a bed we're gonna it's getting more comfortable as it gets broke in but I believe we're gonna replace it with some stadium seating it does have this nice radio which sounds good but reception's horrible The stove we use quite frequently is nice. The oven we have not used. The drawers are nice wood, hardwood fronts. Plywood stapled together. The quality, the little details on the MPG are kind of Like most RVs, not very good. The state, there's a lot of missed staples on trim work. But all in all, not too bad. We had to replace the water pump right away, but that's just, you know, buying an RV. Nice big sink. This nice cover. A nice closet here a nice size bathroom one flaw is a plastic toilet but we have one on the way the shower is very nice we upgraded the shower nozzle from uh, with one from Walmart which works great it's got a medicine cabinet not much space there around the sink as far as counter space, but it's very functional. Of course, you got your air vent. That's the cheapy. Do have a pantries over here. As you can see, like the facing's already loose on that. We've fixed probably three of them already where they just fall out. A lot of storage under here. A little under here. Overall, I would give the MPG 2100 a B. Just because of the quality, the stapling. I don't know if you can see this. Just... Kind of poor workmanship but not too bad i understand they try to make these light weight the outside one of the nice features is the aztec i believe it's called siding the laminate siding hopefully that'll last a long time it has a battery disconnect which is nice The king bed is awesome for a 21 footer. It's got plywood floors, power tongue jack. That's an option. The underbelly storage is very nice, but like I said, it's hard to get to. And the slam latch baggage doors are nice with the magnetic tabs. As far as outside, it doesn't have anything fancy. Just kind of lightweight materials. But it seems insulated well. 
we're looking forward to trying it out in the winter. I hope you enjoy this video.